This is A Plus Designs and Graphics, and today we're going to show you how we do sublimation all over print t shirts using the SC F570. Stay tuned. <music> So we create our all over sublimation prints in Photoshop um, because we have a 24 inch Epson. Uh, it's less of a process as far as slicing. We only have to slice our image twice, depending on the size of the shirt. So if you look here in Photoshop, I've already got my dimensions where I need them. I've already sliced it. So we're gonna go ahead and print one half of the shirt and then we're gonna print the other half. And then we're gonna show you the process of putting them together and getting them on a shirt. I start to feel down. I just pray. And he turns it around. And now I'm found like the girl in morning do. Like the day that Kiss me warm and kiss me through. So now that we have our 3D shirt printed out, the next process is the assembly process. Now for the assembly, you're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need heat tape. Uh -huh. You're gonna need some type of blade. You're gonna need some butcher's paper, parchment paper. You need your ruler, it really don't matter the size. Preferably a 12 inch or, or longer. And you're gonna need uh, some scissors. So we have our two sheets out here, ready to be taped together. I'll show you that process here in a minute. And last but not least, you're gonna need a heat press. Heat press. My mama wife in the background. I need a heat press now. I've seen on YouTube, you know, people use uh, 11 by 19 heat presses to uh, to assemble their shirts. I mean, it all depends. I got a bigger heat press because I want to do less work. I got a, a, a Epson sublimation printer because I want to do less uh, assembly with the paper, you know. You get you two sheets put them together, you know, you move on to the next process. All right, so first things first, we're gonna take um, one half of our shirt. Somebody gonna still do a voiceover. And we're gonna cut along the line here, only on one of them. See this white space here? We don't need that space because we're gonna connect the other piece to it. So this is probably one of the most delicate parts of the job because you wanna make sure that you line up as straight as possible along your shirt, you know, you don't have to be perfect, but if you start to, you know, your line starts to get uneven, you're gonna probably have a shirt that's uneven that's off. So we're gonna take our ruler, we're gonna line it up right along the edge of this half of the shirt here. Yeah. Try to get it as close as possible to the edge. Then you're gonna take your, your blade you're gonna go along that line. About medium pressure. With this paper, you don't wanna push too hard because then you the, the paper will tear and then you got a whole nother problem because now you're printing out another sheet and that's not a fast process. So as you can see, I just cut along that. I'm gonna make my way all the way down the shirt. You know, if you're right-handed, left-handed, it all, you know, cut what's most comfortable for you. 
So with this ruler, it's a 12 inch ruler. I like to use a smaller ruler because, you know, using a longer ruler, sometimes you, as you're cutting, you start to get off the edge because of the length of the ruler. So this works for me, use, use whatever works best for you. Usually it takes me about three cuts, as you can see. One more cut here and we'll be done with this one. All right, so we got the first half cut. As you can see, I'm gonna hold it up here and show you. That's the first half of the shirt. So I'm always gonna bring the second half in. Now on this one, we leave that edge in. We cut, we leave that edge in because what we wanna do is we're gonna take this half we cut we're gonna lay on top of that one. Hence there, now you have a full shirt, right? So you pretty much wanna line that up as close as possible where you don't see, you get your edges nice and crisp. All right, just about there. All right, so I like to work because it's such a big shirt, this is uh, one of our small shirt, adult shirts. I like to work, take one side and then I'll go and I'll adjust the other side. So, so you're gonna take the heat tape that I mentioned earlier. You wanna use a heat application tape because once you, you're putting this thing under 400 degrees um, Fahrenheit and you want a tape that's gonna hold. I, I try to use uh, regular tape before and it melted and it was just uh, ugly and it I had to clean my heat press and yeah I'll never do that again so purchase you a, a, a actual heat application tape that way you don't have to worry about cleaning up a mess afterwards so my wife's working on the other side there and we're going to get this thing straight as possible that way you can have good results because she's not in a purse side, as you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and hold this while she tapes that side. We tape the front first. That way, we that way once we flip it over, um, we don't have to worry about the paper. Have to readjusting the paper, and this works out better. Than that, All right, so she has her side tape. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tape my side. Right along the edge here, as you can see. You don't want to get the tape on your actual photo because once this tape comes up, it's taking everything up with it. So you don't want to have blotches in your, uh, in your picture. All right, so I'm pretty much taped here. So we're going to go ahead and do some teamwork here. We're going to go ahead and flip this over nice and gentle. Make sure I tape real loud whatever way you want to do it. Boom, flip it over, boom, all right. Now, right around along this seam here, as you can see, we're gonna run tape around along the seam from either side. And we'll have our shirt prepped here and ready for uh, to be pressed. So, I don't like to take much. I like to work a little bit at a time because sometimes you form bubbles in your uh, on your shirt. So see how my wife's rubbing along the side just to keep it straight so we don't get any bubbles. Keep the uh, shirt as flat as possible. So she's, now she's gonna go ahead and apply that side. I'm gonna go ahead and hold it down and she runs the tape along if you get off if you start to get off your line just cut your paper and just start again so she's gonna go ahead and finish that off to the end there boom there you go now there are times where you know, you did, you thought you did as great as possible. You flip it over and you see that your your uh, photo's not aligned the way you want. That happens, you know, just gently take the tape off the back and reapply it again. It's better to do that than to, you know, 
get to the heat press process and see like right here, we, st we can still see some white, so she's just gonna peel that off. The good thing about this tape on the back, it's not gonna stick as hard, so yeah, let's go ahead and peel it. You ain't gotta take the tape off, just peel the, the whole picture out. Boom, and we can just realign that part. Bring it in closer. Easy fix. Boom. All right. So now, this is a big sheet of paper. The best thing to do is to, is to try to get rid of all this excess white along the shirt. We want just to cut the shirt image out and not the whole... Um, that way, once you place it onto your shirt, you're just covering the shirt and not all that extra paper is in the way there. So I'm just gonna go along and cut all this excess paper off. Okay, so now for the heat application process. So what we do, what we got here is a, I believe it was like a 42 by 36. Like I said, this is not recommended. This is just the size I like to use. Um, my wife made an important point. Before I used to uh, do sublimation, I used to use a Teflon sheet and uh, a lot of our sublimation prints were coming out uh, ghosting and not all the color was seeping through. Whenever you're doing sublimation or uh, opposed to vinyl, you don't want to use Teflon. Apparently Teflon, oh, say it again. Or parchment. Or parchment, apparently it sucks up the ink so if you're doing all over 3D, you want your your heat, wherever your heat comes from, to be bare. Be, be up, you don't want any type of Teflon on, on the top there. So, first process, we're gonna go ahead and lay some um, butcher's paper on the press because you're gonna have a lot of ink um, on the outside of the shirt, and you don't want to stain up your your press top or your um, the bottom of your press. So we lay parchment paper down to soak up the extra ink. From this point, we're gonna pre-press our shirt. So she's gonna grab uh, our shirt. Like I said, we use the Jersey brand. We actually like to put butcher paper on top of it too to try not to risk any type of stain that might be on the top of the press or we don't want that to be on our shirt. Take in mind it took us a few times to get this right. I mean you know you look on that's the reason why that's the reason why I'm doing this video because you look online and you you look online and you try to find videos on sublimation and you know, it's limited. You can find a lot of things, but you know, it, you kind of got to figure it out, figure out your own technique, depending on the material you have. So we're going to go ahead and press it. Get a nice, even, flat surface. Um, I like to press between 10 to 15 seconds, depending on the shirt that I'm pressing. Um, like I said, sublimation, we can do it on 400 degrees for a minute. I'm gonna lift that up. And as you can see, you got a pretty decent now. If you find out that it's not, if you, you know, you're gonna have some creases. If you find that a crease that's too bad, I invested in one of these, one of the little circuit mini. 
gadgets here. You know, I'll find the crease that I, I deem to might be a problem and I'll kind of turn this up and even it out. But nine times out of 10 with these shirts, you don't have to do that. All right. So, we did all the preparations and now we're gonna go ahead and apply our uh, design on top of the shirt, our tape design. And my wife's gonna go ahead, she's gonna check, look and make sure all the corners are where they're supposed to be, the lettering. You always make the you always make the design bigger than the actual shirt. Um there are a lot of templates out there, especially for jersey. Uh so when you're designing your, your shirt, it tells you pretty much how big you wanna make the design. You know, because if you make if you try to make the design the exact size of the shirt, you're gonna have some overflow. Oh, one thing we forgot. We're gonna take. You uh, just pull it back a little. We're gonna take. We're gonna, put, we're gonna. This part of the shirt, we try not to get the, the collar here. We don't want to get ink in there. So I'm telling you about the. This piece is actually kind of huge. I was telling you about the parchment paper. What I like to do with this. Let's put it right here. Side the, I don't know what you call that. The neck? Yeah. Of the shirt, just to try to, try not to get um too much ink in there. I'm gonna work this way. Go. There you go. Just so you don't get print inside the neck of the shirt. We got that there, so she's gonna go ahead and lay the shirt back on there, check all the corners and sides. Might have to the most important thing is getting your wording on the shirt. Like I said, a lot of the access is just there to be there to fill out the shirt. She's checking all sides. And once she gets it where she deemed it's ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and press it 400 degrees for a minute. And we'll see how it comes out. All right, so she gave me the green light. I'm gonna go ahead and press it. And cross our fingers here. Now, when you lift up, you want to lift up lightly because that prevents any kind of ghosting. So I'm going to go up gently, give that ink time to settle there, pull that bad baby out, boom, drum roll, so there's the finished product. So his uh, shirt, his finished products. Like I said, we got like six more of these to do. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to A Plus Designs, located out here in Ocala, Florida. And uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do a lot more videos. Uh, like, subscribe, like and subscribe, <laughs> like and subscribe to our channel. Um, if there's something that you deem that you want to know, we do vinyl, we do sublimation. We do anything you can think of. So if there's something that you, you're curious, you need to know, you know, leave a comment in our page and we'll do our best to help you out with that. Child, I just thank the Lord that I made it again.